My name is Olivia and I wish to go to Disney World. My name is Danielle Shorter and my child Olivia was diagnosed with sickle cell disease, SS, at, um, after seven days of just being born. So she was fine, Olivia was fine, up until she was about four or five months old and that's when the symptoms hit. There was a night where she began to cry and I didn't know what it was but I saw her fingers and they swelled up like little sausages and, and that, was, that was our beginning of sickle cell disease. It feels like scary, like I don't know. Her blood cells are shaped in half, or crescent moons, and they get stuck in her vessels and anywhere that blood flows, um, that's where the pain and problems happen. A chronic disease is something that the whole family does take on. Um, you want to support your child. She seems fine. That's the sneaky thing about sickle cell. She looks fine. It's something that attacks her from the inside out. The social worker at Lori Children's Hospital that said, hey, I've got something that you might be interested in. Would you like for Libby to have a make-a-wish? And I was like, yeah. What is it? <laughs> So for my wish, I wanted to go to Disney, so when I wished that, they asked my mom if I could go, and, and I did. I wanted to go to Disney because I knew it was fun, and my whole family likes Disney, of course. When Livy had her wish granted, it was some time after she had a splenectomy. It broke her down, you know? She went through the why me, and am I the only one? And it brought her down into a really saddened state that I didn't think a child could get to. And then, Olivia, you're going on a Make-A-Wish. You're going to Disney World. And it picked her back up, and I saw that, that kind of spark that was almost lost come back up. It's like kind of just charged her back up. My favorite part was to see Tiana because she's my favorite princess. And then we got to Florida. We saw Mickey, we saw the castle, and, and it was like sickle cell. The, the, we didn't have to think about that. It feels like having your, your one star picked out of the sky. That's what it feels like. It was fun, and you will see lots of things, and experience things. Yeah. And you can go to different places like Epcot and others. They go through so many pokes and pains, and it's not just physical, um, it affects the spirit. And so being hospitalized for so long, it can take a toll on that child, and the child has to grow up faster than they should. So the wish really provides hope. It's its own special kind of medicine. I don't think many people realize when they are donating to Make-A-Wish, what the impact really is. You know, you're not just providing a, a couple of dollars. You're giving a child hope. You're giving a family back the child that might have lost that spark, that energy, that, 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 I don't know, that, that something special. I think it's neat and I think it's nice for kids to make wishes because it helps other kids and it's a dream come true.